Well, how are you guys doing tonight? Well, great. Great. Woo. great. So my name is Ambitious May, and I am at home self-isolating. Some of you guys may be sheltering in place during the pandemic right now, but for me, it's like uh, I have underlying conditions. So if I get sick with COVID, my doctor just mentioned, hey, you, you might die. So <laughs> I'm self-isolating. And um, so I've been in, the, in my apartment for four months and I kind of have to find fun stuff to do. I'm, I'm very creative. I've started a garden on the porch, finally cleaned out my file cabinet, and I also like to read. Any of you guys like to read? Woo! Tiger Bill, you like to read? I just like that name. <laughs> what about you, Amanda? Amanda? Yes, ma'am, I love to read. <laughs> okay, what do you like to read? Books. <laughs> Books, oh, okay, that's fun sometimes, but you know what's fun for me? I, I like to read um, entries in the Next Door app. Anybody ever heard of the Next Door app? Yeah. Who signed up to the Next Door app? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love this app. I never signed up before because I felt like I heard it was like people just saying racist things and all that. And I was like, well, that's no fun. But uh, I signed up because I have this garden on my porch and I was looking for a bench for my garden. But what I discovered is um, excellent entries. So I'm going to read you one. All right. Please do. Uh oh, uh -oh. I like to pour myself a glass of wine out of this big bottle here. So I like to pour just like that. So I have my reading glasses. I have my next door app. And I'm going to read you something called Cat Calls. For the second time in four days, our cat was attacked by a dog in our front yard. We literally had just come back from his second vet visit from the first attack, Friday night. Both were done by big dogs who may have been leashed or harnessed, but the owner was unable to hold on to the dog when it decided to chase. Not control your dog. Be honest with yourself. You should know whether you can or can't. Do not walk your dog down Edgewood between Hollywood and El Centro. In addition, to cats, we have toddlers in this block. I hate to even think what could happen. I personally do not understand how anyone could feel comfortable walking a dog without being able to control it. But that's for you all to deal with. Please keep our street safe. Thank you. Um, so I thought that was interesting and I kept reading. This is what Aria says. I'm so sorry to hear of their attack on your dog, your cat by a big dog. I know how hard it can be to control a, big, a dog that, that gets in the chase mode. Maybe people who aren't strong enough to control their dogs should put a muzzle on them before going on walks so no other creatures get injured. <sighs> Wilson says, sorry your cat was attacked. That must have been traumatic. I personally don't understand how people can let cats loose to kill, maim, and wildlife, maim and wild, kill and maim wildlife indiscriminately. But your cat doesn't kill birds and other delicate fauna, but most do. So it always makes me wonder why people with cats are so surprised when they are in fact also a part of the pecking order in the animal kingdom. Again, sorry for your trauma, but cats should be kept inside. I don't agree. I think it's terrible to confine them to their entire lives. I can't imagine my cat not being able to lay outside in the sun to roll in the grass. We supervise our cats while they are outside and they don't usually stray. When they do, we make sure to get them back quickly. There's 14 apply replies to this comment. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna read a few to you if you don't mind. Mine are very happy watching through the windows. Indoor cats are much safer than those that venture out, not exposed to other animals, herbicides, chemicals, traffic. Indoor cats live longer as well. I think you missed the point that, that the dogs came into his yard and attacked his cat. I would ask the dog owner to pay for the vet bill. I have my cats in the, my front yard supervised and on harnesses and leashes. 
Now this surprised me because I don't know too many people that put harnesses and leases, leashes on their cats. Any of you guys do that? No. I kind of wonder if this woman is telling the truth, but I'll read on. They enjoy just laying on a patio in front yard, but if a dog came in my yard and tried to attack them, I would spray the dog with the hose or do what I could to protect my cats. As long as time, as, as a long time cat and dog owner, I know cats live longer being indoors, so they are not harmed by the animals or hit by a car. But it's healthy for them to be outside as well. We just put a bell on a cat. Works like a charm. No, it does not. Okay. I don't know why she said it like that, but okay. The bell doesn't work. It does for my kitty, but she's elderly at this point. Oh, we have an elderly kitty. Did I miss the point? I did not miss the point. I offered my condolences. Did she really offer her condolences? I don't think she offered. Did you hear a condolence in there anywhere, guys? No. No. I offered my condolences, but will not miss the opportunity to educate people on the damage cats do to delicate wildlife. <laughs> Um, as a dog owner, you are responsible, absolutely responsible, for any damages your pet does to, to a person's property, at your home or not. There is no recourse for cats damage done to wildlife. Please review this document. I mean, I would show you this document. Maybe I'll just copy and paste it in there, but it's very interesting. Cats, cats. do whatever the hell they want. Can you believe that? Um, I found it interesting for these next ones. Hey, I've been a cat owner my entire life and a volunteer at the SPCA in San Francisco for over 10 years. I'm well versed on the subject. I don't agree with your suggesting to keep cats inside. Everyone should be responsible for their pet as an owner, including dogs. Anita says, I foster Oakland SP, I foster at the Oakland SPCA and they are against cats being able to roam outside. So which is it? Should they be able to roam outside? Do they play in the front yard? Do they wear leashes? Because I've never seen a cat with a leash. <laughs> What's the deal here? I, I have to know. Um, our final entry, which says it all, is great. I love, there's such a variety of people on here talking about this cat business. <laughs> if you can't make your cat an indoor cat, then it will be attacked. What about a catio? Put him in a catio. <laughs> <laughs> There's catios? <laughs> Anyone out there have a catio? I have to learn more about these catios. <laughs> hey guys, that's my time. You can join me at any time on Instagram, and we could read these together. Just look for me, Ambitious May. Thank you guys. Thanks and for having me. And you guys. Yeah. Put a leash on your cat. <laughs> <laughs>